Hi all, welcome to my channel. My name is Umesh. Just a short introduction to myself and what this channel is about. So, I, I started uh, putting videos on this channel and creating uh, new stuff since about uh, four to six weeks now. Uh, what I wanted to do is just to inspire you with whatever I can, uh, with my own true experiences that I have lived and uh, to inspire you in any any good way now uh, just to give you a short introduction so i've worked as a medical doctor for about 20 years uh, since i passed out from uh, the st petersburg medical school in uh, in 1998 and uh, so I, I lived in Sri Lanka for a while, then I moved to Australia in uh, 2006. And I've been there for about 14 years now, 13 to 14 years. And one of my favorite things have been hiking and, and camping. I've learned so much from hiking and camping and uh, also understood so many realities, the simple things in life and found lots of solutions how to tackle day-to-day -day stress and how to come out come out of this rat race of uh, working working and working during the time I worked as a medical doctor I've seen lots of suffering uh, suffering through my own patients and uh, and also suffering that I, I underwent working so many hours for many years, I used to work 70 to 80 hours a week as a general practitioner. Also, I used to work in emergency, and that basically burnt me out completely. Uh, where I had uh, no residue battery left in me. And in 2014 August, I had a heart attack, which I see as a blessing in disguise, because something magical happened during that time. Uh, my practice of vipassana meditation actually started working working for me unintentionally and I was able to observe the cardiac pain that I was having without reacting to it so as if it was not my pain as if it was a pain of, uh, of a patient or somebody like that and I was just an observer but at the same time it was very clear to me that uh, that, that I was having a heart attack and it was my pain you can read more about this, uh, the complete story in my blog, uh, in blog number one and two. Uh, the link is there, you can go to my blog below and uh, uh, in this channel and uh, you, you can see this. The, uh, so since then I've been, uh, since then and since before that, I've, been, I've always questioned myself, what's the purpose of life? Uh, what happens after death? Why do we live? Uh, from where do I come from? And uh, what's the most important thing to do? And, and, and so many other things. And then uh, uh, Vipassana meditation gave me almost all the answers to these questions. I would say all the answers to these questions. Through my own practice of the observation of this mind and body, and uh, so I did my first Vipassana course in 2003. Uh, my wife almost had to force me to do the course because just to satisfy her, I, I went for the course because she had done about two or three 10 day courses, silent retreats before that, before me. So I did my, took my first course in 2003, but the fourth or fifth or sixth day, I just realized this is what I've been looking for all my life. All the answers that I've been looking for were just coming. And uh, so, uh, but then I started practicing and I couldn't really seriously practice because I was working many hours and at that time I was working in Sri Lanka, I was working in the war front, I was working in orthopedic surgery and trauma, so I was really busy. But then after I came to Australia in 2006, I, I also started working many hours, I was working with uh, I was working in a drug and alcohol rehab with uh, children between the ages of 14, and 14 to 18 years of old who had multiple abuse problems and who had undergone uh, 
multiple trauma. And then I was thinking, wow, what a, what a life these people have led. I mean, it's crazy. And uh, all that really pushed me to, to practice Vipassana more. And then my own suffering because I was working, 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 just like a robo. And uh, so I started practicing more deeply, taking more and more 10-day courses and whenever I had the time. And then I decided to, uh, in, after 2014 heart attack, I decided to, maybe I should become a monk. And I did that also, I became a monk, but after some time I, I disrobed because I want to come back to the family. All this you can read in my blog. So this channel is mainly to, maybe to give you an inspiration about uh, my experiences. Maybe it, it could inspire you, it, what I want to say is maybe it will inspire you or maybe it won't inspire you. If it inspires you, I'll be very happy and that's for this purpose. Alright, talk to you later on. May all beings be happy. May all beings be happy. May all beings be happy. May you be truly happy. Bye for now.